binoculars on, you can see better, but these guys can see super well. They can see a little mouse this big from a mile high up in the sky. There, it's something you and I could not do. So their eyes are much more sophisticated than ours. And the other triple thing is, something you guys, I need to ask, I'm sure you know. Are they awake the same time we are? No, no they're nocturnal. They're not nocturnal, dark. good, you know that word. So not only can they see their food from a mile up, but they can see that food at night. So they also have another power, super duper hearing. So they've got really good night vision and, and powerful eyes, but they've got really good hearing. And this is the other weird thing. Are those little tufts the ears? No. no. That's good. That's not the ears. Actually, that's part of the camouflage. Around the head is very, very obvious in the forest. It looks like a head. But if it had little tufts, it breaks up the line. It's good camouflage. Just like his whole feather coat is a wonderful match for the barks of the trees and the leaves that he lives among. So we're covering a lot of subjects here, what it eats and how it sees and its other senses, its hearing. And its hearing, there are ears on the side of its head, but they're up at different heights. They're not symmetrical. Our ears really aren't symmetrical either. If you ever Q-tip your ear and clean your ear, you'll notice they, the, the, can, the channels are a different angle. But the cat owl uh, ears are actually at different height. One's high and one's low. So if you ever hear a funny little noise and you can't figure where it is, tilt your head. Just like an owl doesn't need to do, but tilt your head. It'll put your ears at a different angle and you'll be able to find that funny little noise that you're like, what? The other day I found out with one of my lamps, a different light bulb makes a weird noise. So anyway, so that's hearing. Now, I'm still going to address the neck bone. The animal wants to be able to see very well, but he doesn't have the power you and I do. He's got super eyes. He's got incredible ears, but he can't do something you and I do. Now, you and I, we can sit like this, and I can turn my eyes, not moving my head, keeping my head still, 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 but I can turn my eyes and look over here. I can turn my eyes and look over there. So can you, you can see your friends over there. But Al can't do that. His eyes don't swivel up or down or left or right in his head. So that is why the owl has to turn his head completely. Because his eyes don't move in his head. Away from his Don't move in his head. He's got to be able to turn his head. So they can turn their head. They can turn their head. It's called a full circle. Do you know what the degrees is? Now 